Good afternoon, everyone. We are still working towards our main question of what would happen if we didn't have bees. Now, today's lesson, we're looking at the life cycle of a bee. And uh, last week, we looked at pollination. And we're going to look at when when in the life cycle of a bee, pollination would occur. OK, so just a quick recap on pollination. Pollination is the transfer of pollen to a stigma of your flower or plant to allow fertilisation. Now, bees are pollinators that carry pollen from angiosperm to angiosperm, so f f carry pollen from flowering plants to different flowering plants. Now, using they do this using their uh, baskets on their hind legs or body. What is a life cycle? The a life cycle is a series of changes in the life of an organism, including reproduction, and all living things have a life cycle. There are four stages to a honeybee's life cycle, life cycle, and these are the egg, larva, pupa, and adult. And you can see this in the diagram on the right-hand side of your page. Now, the first stage is the egg, but before the egg is even produced, something has to go on with the queen bees. They have to become, they have to reproduce, okay? And queen bees um, mate with... 15, uh, well, between 15 and 25 drone bees in the air, okay? And this is really high in the air, so it's about 60 to 70 foot up in the air. And they mate with so many because they want to gather quite a large quantity of sperm. Now, queen bees have a specialised reproductive system, uh, so they can lay two different types of egg. Now, these eggs that they lay, the two different types, uh, decide whether... The egg, uh, the bee will be male, and a drone bee, or a female, uh, a worker, or a queen bee. Okay, so a ha the haploid eggs that they lay. This is um, just the, a haploid egg means one chromosome, and that will produce a a drone bee, so a male bee. Okay, and what happens is the sperm that is collected by the queen bee when she mates that's not released okay so she releases um she, re she releases an egg that is unfertilized and a diploid egg has two sets of chromosomes so uh this egg is fertilized by the drone bees okay and that will produce a female bee so either a queen bee or a worker bee now the eggs that the queen bee lays are absolutely tiny they are 0.4 millimeters wide so you'll really struggle to see that on a ruler okay now these eggs are laid upright in an upright position in the center of a hexagonal wax cell in the hive okay and if you look on the left you will be able to see uh, an egg cell there okay now next we move on to larva and the worker bees actually for the female um eggs worker bees play an integral role on deciding which type of uh bee they're going to create okay and this is all dependent on the population of the hive so if there are quite a few worker bees um then the worker bee worker bee will produce will feed the egg with a queen or royal jelly okay and that will produce a queen bee. This jelly is richer in sugar and it's actually thicker. Uh, if they want to produce a worker bee, they will produce some worker jelly for the uh, larva to eat. Now, the larva or eggs are ha eggs hatch after three days and they turn into larva. Okay, and larva grow really quickly and shed their skin five times. Now, in this each day, larva consume 1,300 meals, so they are really, really hungry. And within five days, they they grow 1,570 times larger than their original cell. At this time, the worker bees actually cap the uh, larva in, in their hexagonal wax cell so they can't escape. Now, after this, we move on to... Um, the pupa. So this is the third stage, and this, while the cell is still capped, um, the larva or pupa 
transform and begin to take on the features of a bee. So they actually start to get their eyes, their legs and their wings. They all take shape, okay? And the colour of their eyes begins. So first of all, their eyes are actually pink. And then they turn purple and then finally they, they turn to black. And last of all, the last thing that happens is that the fine hair that covers the bee's body develop. So after 12 days, the now adult bee eats away at the capping and goes off to join her brothers and sisters in the hive, um, or their brothers and sisters, sorry. Each type of honeybee then goes off and carries out their duties. So uh, worker bees, they make honey, clean the hive, feed other bees. There's more jobs that they do, but I've just named a few. Uh, they live for about six weeks in the summer, but in the winter they can actually live longer because they're not as busy. Uh, the drone bees, their sole role is just to mate with the queen bee, like I said earlier, and they live around 12 to 16 weeks long. And then queen bees, they have the longest li lifespan. Um, they can live up to four years, and their role is just to lay up to 2,000 eggs a day. Now your task today, I want you to do, is create a diagram of the honeybee life cycle. So I would like to see a brief description of each stage and a, a drawing of each stage. You can do your diagram however you'd like. You could do like the one on the uh, one of the previous slides that I show you. That's an example of a life cycle. Okay, so off you go and thank you very much.